Welcome guys, this is a quick and simple battery replacement for your robot vacuum. This is an EcoVax, it's something that can be done really easily if you're willing to attempt it and you can give your D-Bot a bit of extra life. Now batteries don't last forever so they do need to be replaced and you can get these quite easily from a number of places. I have a link in the description if you want to get the one that I bought. Now I suggest searching for the battery for your particular vacuum model. This one is an N8 Pro and as you'll see coming up in the screen a little bit further there'll be a couple of different options a bigger battery or a smaller battery um, just have a look maybe take it out before you order a new one you want to get one that has a higher milliamp hour reading just so it lasts a bit longer now as you would have seen in the video there's a bottom plate that you need to undo there's a number of phillips screws to undo they're really easily just do it by hand like i am and then once you get that bottom plate off there's usually a, like a steel retainer which holds the battery in place and helps weight the D-Bot um, so it can balance properly. Now this one here is quite a big plate, I'm pulling it out but it might look like the one down in the bottom there. Now what you do is you get the battery, I hold on to it and flip it over so it easily comes out and then I can unplug it and safely take it out of the way. Here's my new battery, as you can see 12800 milliamp hours, got the same plug, got the same wires. So I put it back into the connector and then back into the battery compartment and I'm about to fit the retaining plate but I realised that the wire is going to be in the way so I've taken it out again. I'm just going to rearrange those wires a little bit, make sure they're sitting in there and they don't get pinched when the retaining plate goes in. Put the retaining plate back in, put the four screws back in that I've taken out. Now I've got to mention at the start, you would have seen me turn off the machine. That's important for doing anything like this. So turn it off first. Now, once you've got that battery plate back in, you can put the bottom cover back on, put all the screws back in that you've taken out. There we go. Put the accessories back on, flip it over, turn it on, and test it out. There we go, it's working. Now, I hope you found this video helpful and it empowers you to do something like this for yourself and give it a go. It's fairly simple in my mind. So if you got value from this, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.